Today we are talking about document understanding AI. How much these solutions actually save money and over what kind of time periods? Welcome to studio. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, can document understanding AI get out of the control and rule the world? Hopefully, one day. But we are not there yet. Because document understanding AIs are fancy, very complex statistical machines. You fit something in, you get something out. But when you combine them with other control structures, the document understanding, or I would say human cognitive processes, essentially what, what document understanding is, human intention understanding can be part of something larger that might get out of control. But the basics over here, or the basis over here, are that what we want to provide is the understanding for decision making. Which business process can save money by utilizing a document understanding AI? Virtually any business process, and also many supporting processes. Because anytime we need human cognition, we need expend human effort we can replace this human effort from virtually any process where it is needed. Normally we are talking about processes which are requiring a manual human work on handling records and documents. Uh, it might be that those resources are then uh, released to do something more beneficial. Normally we are talking about highly skilled and trained people that are just doing a very simple manual work. On the other hand, we can talk about processes which are requiring a lot of people doing a manual work. And then if that work can be replaced by a automation, then we can reduce the number of people doing that. So what kind of savings we are talking about? Give some case examples. Well, it can, the saving can be that, that uh, the manual work is replaced by a machine and then the human being is released to do something more valuable. We are talking about normally highly educated people and, and, and they are doing very, very manual and simple work. On the other hand, if we are talking about huge amounts of records or documents, then of course the number of people can be reduced on handling those in time. Let's say you have 100 people working on a cases, making decisions based on claims or other backend material. In many cases, for example, in insurance business, you can say about 80% of the cases are what's called easy cases. You pay them out and you ne never ever hear about them again. When we actually use deep AI to read through the claims or medical records relating to the case, we can actually create sufficient structure for the back-end engine to calculate if this is easy case or difficult case. And if it's easy case, we can save about 70% of the effort, which means if you're 100 people, that's 70 people that can do something more productive. So what factors affect the potential cost savings of process automation? Of course, it's the processing time, how much time you are using on processing one record or document and then multiplying that by the amount that you are receiving. Also, in some cases, it could also be not cost savings, but amount of new business you can generate by using deep AI. For example, if you have outsourced your accounting into India, those resources might be quite random decisions on which cost center this invoices related to what are other dimensions to that and into what bookkeeping account this should go. Which means that you really can't use your uh, accounting data to make decisions, for example, from which vendor should be buy these specific things, because it's not accurate enough. If we make things more accurate by em employing an AI instead of human, we can then start making more use of the data, make better decisions, uh, lower cost of procurement, and possibly also sp speed up the deliveries that we do and thus grow the business. What is the typical time scale for cost savings of AI solutions? How soon does the project 
begin the payback? It depends, of course, the, the customer case. But normally we are talking about few months. It can be even faster or if the, there is not that much data, then we can talk about maybe five or six months, but less than a year. To keep benefit on our approach is that Basically, the AI creation and project automation project delivery is extremely fast. It doesn't take a lot of time and a lot of effort from our side and from the customer side, which actually brings the return of investment down drastically. So if you have 100 people or 500 people doing something and you can automate 70% of the work with initial investment of 100,000 euros, you get return of investment that is far below one month. Okay. What are the most typical obstacles that lead to not undertaking these projects? Normally, the, the, it, it, it starts from the factor that we consider that this cannot be automated. It requires a human understanding in such a level, or it's a complex records or documents that, that require a lot of, lot of work, and we consider that not to be able to automate that part of the process. Another factor, of course, is that when something is automated, are we willing to change the process in terms of how the humans are uh, reacting with, with the process? Or are they still keeping on doing the old way? So is there a willingness of changing the process from the human point of view? Okay. And the last question is that will document understanding AI take our jobs? Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> of course it will. But it will create new jobs. This has been the trend in every single technology tra transition. We eliminate some jobs, but we will create new jobs that are different kind, different type of jobs. So it's not going to make humans obsolete. But what we are aiming for is to make humans to do meaningful things, do things where human cognition matters, human touch is needed. AIs are extremely capable, but for some things they are not human enough yet. The working life is changing all the time. Thinking back 100 years and thinking ahead for 10 years, it is changing all the time. It is the question that do we want to be in the change or do we want not to be in the change? Thank you for your contribution. Thank you. Thank you.